Cool. Well, while we're on the subject of albums, let's go on to the most disappointing albums of the year. <laughs> um, I can go first. I've only got one, really. And it, it, it pains me because... <laughs> I'm going to just get straight to it. West Side Gun. Mm. And then you pray for me. Mm. Now, yeah, I got that as well. West Side Gun, man. After giving me Pray for Paris with that exceptional artwork, you then go the same route with this and, and then you pray for me. Mm. Artwork, majestic, it's powerful, it's wonderful. It looks like it's going to be an hour of the year mm. contender. Put the shit on. <laughs> Put the shit on. And the first few songs, it's like, okay, this is all right. Nothing like crazy. Yeah. And then West Side Trap comes on. Mm. He's rapping over trap music. Mm. And not even good trap music. Mm. It's like the most like cheap. basic. Yeah. It's, cheap it's, like, trap. yeah. it's like a Casio keyboard yeah, of trap music. Yeah. Like you have Travis Scott on, on Speed Dial. You were on Travis Scott's album. He mm. can make you a trap song if you wanted to. Mm. Like Metro, all, all these men. But you decide to go for these basic YouTube beats. Mm. And it, it didn't work out, bro. To be it, fair. Yeah, just in his defense. In right? his defense. In his defense, right? That's like a lot of trap music, though. A lot of it's cheap. To you. A lot of it's shit. To you. A lot of it's, trash. it's cheap. Yeah. But, he, but he went out of his way to find shit that's shitter than the usual shit. <laughs> that you go out your way to In itself is an achievement. You go out your way to do that, by the way. That in itself yeah, is yeah, an that's accomplishment. Fair, yeah, that's you fair. actually got the bottom of the bad that's fair. That's You know fair. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so, fair. yeah, man. I, I, I probably took maybe one or two songs from it, and it was too long as well. Like, yeah, why was it? Like, it was like 20 tracks or yeah, 20 yeah. plus tracks. Yeah. For, for why? Mm. Like, we already know you drop five albums a year. You ain't got to drop like five. To, you ain't, no, just don't do it. I gave him a pass on that because, you know, he's given us a lot of amazing projects in it. So a project where he wants to try something different. Cool, it might not be to my taste, but all right, cool. I'm going to give you that in it. But don't make it a repeat thing in it. And I guess the disappointment for me more so comes from the fact that it's basically a successor to Pray for Paris. Mm. And I love Pray for Paris. That's what it is. Like, that's my, my favorite West Side Gun album. If not that, then Supreme Blind Tell. Mm. Because that's the first one I listened to. Pray for Paris, like... You got to go, go back to Fly God. Yeah. Pray for Paris got me through lockdown mm. in a lot of ways. Um, and yeah, I really loved it. So to have, and then you pray for me, kind of attached to Pray for Paris, mm. it's a bit of a travesty. So yeah, man, that's 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 my one. I've got K Tramine as well, like Amine, Amine and K Chanada. But to be honest, like, I don't know what I was expecting from that one because mm. Amine, I've never really been on. He's like your, he's like a teenage white girl's favorite rapper. Mm. And that's not a bad thing. Mm. That's just like, that's just what it is, right? Mm. So yeah, he's, ne he's never really tickled my fancy as a rapper. Yeah. I was looking I was looking forward to it more so for Cage's Beats. And Cage's Beats were all right, nothing crazy. But yeah, I guess I expected more from that as well. Mm. So I'll put that's that fair. up there. Mm. What are you guys? Do you have any disappointment? Yeah, man, I got, I got three. I got two. I got, well, I I got, I got Meek and Ross, Too Good To Be True. Man. Um, it's been a minute since I've had a Meek project, so I was anticipating just hearing him rap, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like whenever Meek takes a bit of time off, he it, it kind of usually like re-energizes him, and you know, we, like kind of, that's kind of expressed through like his lyrics and stuff when he does release stuff. But um, question: When was his last album? Uh, Championships. That long ago? No, he, that was his last album. But I think he dropped a project on off of the usual DSPs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant just the albums, though. I thought you yeah, I think sorry, he did sorry. something independent, which I didn't yeah. actually listen to. But his last last album was Championship. Trauma and Trauma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trauma yeah. was on Championship, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Ross's Ross's last project was a while ago as well, wasn't it? Port Miami. Um, huh? Port Miami too. Was that point? Nah, there was one after that. Richer than I've ever been. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. So I, I was really looking forward to them getting together, man. I thought, yeah, man, we're about to get like the most like That's what I thought as well. beats motivational speaking from both perspectives like the young philly gunner like and then like the boss from miami fam they both elevated themselves to a point in the game where they're considered vets as well as like, okay yeah man. That's, I, talk to me we're gonna, we're gonna get into it we had the same thought I mean? process we're gonna get like the most amazing beats so the guy from, who like, spills chips on his lap and the correction officer yeah bro Go. yeah bro don't I thought, do that i thought we were gonna get like justice league beats and like some soulful shit. Uh, rich forever beats. Know, just we'll something, man. I triple, thought they were gonna the chat triple, to me the though. The triple beat dream type beats. Thought, the rich yeah, forever type man. beats. I thought, I thought they were gonna give me the same <coughs> tunes that I was playing when we went Cuba, and I was like, yeah, yes. they're gonna give me some tunes yes. here. And then I and I heard the first single. Yes, you did. The first single. Um, give me one sec. Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe. When I heard Shaq and Kobe, I was like, okay, 
Yeah, man. We're going somewhere, bro. This is what I'm trying to hear from these, man. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, yeah. And then you got the second single, Lyrical Easy. And that's where they sampled um, Jay's Lyrical Exercise. That's when they had the video. I think it was probably in Harlem somewhere. We got Jim Jones and their man in the video and that. And they were, yeah, man, they were talking them things there, innit? And I thought, okay, yeah. This two for album, two. The album's about to be fire, bro. And I'm listening to it, man. And... Yeah, man, it just wasn't what it was supposed to be. It was, um, it was something else, man. Garbage. What was it? It was just disappointing, man. Uh, that's 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 literally all I've got, man. I was I was I was I was a bit disappointed with it, man. It was probably it probably came too late, to be fair. But to be honest with you, I thought that you know what, the time that they've chosen to do it was an amazing time to do it as well, just because of where they're both at. Do you know what I mean? Like, I won't say they want to level like playing field, but they are both have really elevated themselves, isn't it? Um, I think they waited way too Well, I guess, yeah, I guess they probably waited a bit too late. Maybe it could have dropped around the times when they were doing like the self-made projects. They would have dropped it 2015, 2016. Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe even 2019. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So maybe it was that. Maybe it was that, man. And I heard Joe Biden kind of say that it was probably just a money grab, that they weren't really in it. And listening to it, it probably was, because I think they did it independently. So they were probably offered quite a bit of money to do it in that. And at times I could hear that, man. So, and you yeah. can tell the, the chemistry they had and the, the chemistry- ke No, the chemistry is like, I don't think that can, that's, that's ever an issue. The chemistry is on point. The issue I had is with the production, man. But it's also the, when I say connection, I mean the justification of why you're doing it. Oh, uh, okay, sense. cool, cool. But I think with those two, man, I think they could like sleep and make music together and it's supposed to bang, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. but for some reason they just didn't on this project, man. I don't feel like they, they really used their production resource that they have at their disposal at all, man, because they they put a lot of lackluster beats on this thing that they didn't need to put. Um, the rapping was cool, um, but it was just the production for me that really let it down, man. So yeah, I was, I was disappointed after all, man. I had to sit with it for a couple of days. I was like, oh yeah, nah, man, it's not, it's not, I'm not feeling it, man. So, I haven't gone back to it since. Yeah, I, I ain't been back to it, man. So there's that, um, West Side Gun, and then you pray also, same thing for me, man. Anyone that knows me knows I don't do trap at all. I don't fuck with trap. <laughs> um, I fuck with Jeezy. Uh, I mean, that's it. Um, so West Side Gun on this, I don't know West Side Gun for it. I know West Side Gun for like the dusty boom bap, New York basement type beats where, you know, the producer that's making it hasn't eaten in like 21 days and that. Do you know what I mean? Brent's do. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I know. <laughs> and then the soulful loops, you know what I mean? Where you're just like, you're, you're, you're rapping from like that, that heart chakra. You know them ones? Mm -hmm. That's what I know him for. I don't know him for this trap stuff. So when I heard it, I was a bit disappointed. But again, like I said to you, I was kind of like, oh, you know what, man, he's giving me amazing projects. So if he wants to experiment with this, that's fine. It's not for me. I'll catch you on the next one. So there's Absolutely. that. And then my third one was 38 Special Conway, Special Machinery, man. I, I was really that. disappointed with that, bro. I do hear that. They were supposed to give me darker, darker beats, like murkier beats, man. They were supposed to talk even more crud than they did. Um, Good fellas? No, huh? Good fellas? I liked it. I liked it. And not to say they didn't talk enough crud, but the beats weren't befitting for the crud that they were talking, man. So it felt like it was a bit of a mismatch and it didn't really hit. And like these two coming together, man, it's supposed to be fire, bro. It's supposed to be. Because Conway to me is like, he's one of the most amazing rappers doing it today, man. I'm 38 special. I'm a new fan. Do you know what I mean? I became more of a fan when he was like doing stuff with, with Ransom that I really enjoyed. Um, but yeah, man, it just, it just didn't hit for me, man. Lyrical performance was cool. Again, they were let down on the production side, man. So yeah, that that, that would make my disappointing albums of the year. Quickly on Meek and Ross, there's nothing worse than listening to an album and feeling like they're treating it like a job, mm. rather than like this is what something that their passion is allowed, is making them do, as mm. opposed to like a money grab. So that's what I wanted to say. Um, on that one. <coughs> I only had two, really, about three. You took them. I had Meek and Ross mm. with you. Um, Why were you disappointed with that? Just because. They don't fail. Does that make sense? Like, because all we've got off them is self-made. Like, Mickey and Ross don't fail. Oh, together. Kind of, yeah, together, they don't fail. And even if you look at their discography, it's actually solid. meek has got solid albums. Yeah. Like, his albums ain't whack. And Rick Ross as well. Rick Ross actually has solid albums. I wouldn't say they make poor albums consistently, like, the way Aubrey does. Ross's catalog is... Yeah, like, not... <laughs> it's up there, man. Yeah, like... When we talk about the best catalogs yeah, in, like, in the hip-hop, it's up there. He does good. So it's like, when them two link up as well, it's also... The nostalgia for me of MMG, like the first concert I ever went was Rich, Rich, Rich Fab and Rick Ross mixtape. So the nostalgia of them two collabing, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get what I need. Like, mm. I'm a boss or two months mm. back or mm. them kind of songs where it's just hype, especially with me because it's like I've been spending minutes since you dropped an album. 
I've been waiting for this. Mm. I'm always going to be a Meek fan, no matter how much he's... Same. He's a corny brother, <laughs> but I'm always going to be a fan of his music. Even as corny as he wants to be. I could shuck and jive for as many... Meek ain't corny, Rubens. man. What? We need to kill that narrative. Meek ain't corny. Meek corn, shucks man. and jives for Michael Rubin. Meek but like, I'm corn, always... <laughs> But I'm always going to be a fan. So when it dropped, I'm similar like, like you. When they dropped Shaq and Kobe, mm. I remember I was telling people, I was like, yeah, 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 we've got one, we've got yeah, one. Man. Then I sat on it. And the worst, best way I can explain it is I haven't gone back since. Yeah. If I haven't gone back since you dropped, then I'm not feeling it, man. Mm. And another one I've got is, it's nothing more than just me thinking it's a whack album, isn't it? It's Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes? Yeah. What do you drop? That's why he drops out this year. That's Block Blockbuster. Blockbuster? Yeah. yeah. I completely missed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he dropped Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Yeah, he dropped Blockbuster. Um, two packs of ass cheeks. I haven't listened to it. Yeah, don't listen to it. By the features, I knew I would Yo, like it. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean the, the title was. Yeah, we go to Spotify. Oh, Blockbuster with an A. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Do you see it, Yemi? Yeah, this is. Yeah, do you see it, Yemi? I didn't like the single yet. Yeah, look at Coil the Coil Ray as well. Quavo. Yeah, Quavo was on it. Covers, I think Quavo was on like track four. Blue, Coil yeah, Ray. Yeah, Coil Ray. Baby T yeah, Pay and Bird yeah, Boy. Yeah. The Return of Mansa Musa, though. Mm. That's the name of the song. Mm. Junior Choi. Junior Choi is a. Coil Ray song, they shouldn't. They touched the sample, the J sample. They did. Ain't no on reasonable doubt. They should have never touched that. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, so it, it's nothing more just the album is two packs of ass cheeks um, it is gigs it's, yeah yeah but, uh, don't promote it an hour and two minutes don't, don't promote it don't promote it mm. um, I listened to that um, in on holiday mm. um, no yeah no mm. no, no completely no, missed me boy no. yeah, yeah, good 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 um, so I had I generally just had, had so I had a Buster album mm. uh, I don't know what I was expecting for Buster in 2023 to be honest with you <laughs> I actually don't know what I was yeah. like I wouldn't say I went into it like oh my god I don't know what I was expecting yeah. but it was more just on the back of us talking about Buster on the podcast but let me ask let me sorry Mo let me ask you man something yeah does there come a point in time where you just gotta leave your Legends legends alone. alone like as in not really continue to listen to like their most current output 1000% Cause I remember, I remember Nee said something when I told him I was listening. This was like last year. I remember he was like to me when I said to him, "Oh, y'all, I was listening to Black Star," album. and he was like, "You listening to Black Star album in 2022?" And at that time, I was a bit like, "What are you talking about?" But it made me think, though. Does there come a point in time where you gotta leave the legends alone? Yeah, you gotta leave your legends that's, alone. That's different. They hadn't have, they hadn't released an album in 24 years. Mm. But I think he might have even said the same when Buster last shot too. Buster, I can understand a little bit. But at the same time, if that's one of your favorite rappers, and if they're a legend that you feel like you're obliged, maybe to listen to them, you're always gonna listen to them. I don't think that's a bad thing. If Jay dropped yeah, a bad album, do, do you ever get to a point where you're like, you know what, man? No, it depends on your artist, really. If Jay drops today, and if Jay drops next year, and it's a poor album, he's gonna be in your disappointed albums list. But you're gonna say it's because different. Jay's a different, different with Jay, See, I knew though. it. That's what I knew. I'm, right. ne I'm never not gonna listen. But to I knew Jay. you were gonna say that though. It was different for Jay. Yeah, I'm never not gonna listen. Especially to Jay. artists that we grew up, legends that we grew up on. If yeah. it's someone like a Rakim or KRS One, then that's very easy because uh, yeah, we didn't grow yeah, up yeah, on yeah. them like mm. that. Yeah, you deserve. But if it's a Jay, Nas, like Drake and Kendrick, they could probably can get to that point as well. Mm. It might be a bit harder. Mm. So yeah. I really, it really just it comes out to the artist. Because I think Buster's in that territory for me. You know, I don't think I need to listen to another Buster album. You don't. I don't think so. You man. don't. Um, I'm just here to say Blockbuster was um, Apollo. Do you guys remember Apollo? Apollo 13? No. So in, in Creed, in, uh, in Tottenham, we didn't have Blockbuster. We had something called Apollo. And we mm. used to buy our CDs, our DVDs and tapes from there because we couldn't get a real Blockbuster. Mm. It was Apollo, man. It was a poor, poor album. Mm. Yeah, we had Apollo. We didn't have Blockbuster. Trenches, in the hood. bro. Boy. We had Apollo. So we had How ironic. Do you listen to an album called Blockbuster reminiscent about the time you didn't have Blockbuster? We had Apollo. <laughs> like you go there, you buy a tape, you take, like I had Space Jam on tape when I used to take mm. it back home. But needless to say, it's a poor album. And another one is just for whatever it's worth. I don't like the Drake album. I think the Drake album is trash. It's disappointing. It's poor. It's pathetic. For he all the dogs. Know, he, for, Fat D. Bro, he don't know how to make what albums. What about the deluxe version? Uh, the scary the, hours? Uh, no. Okay. It wasn't scary. I don't think scary hours could have saved that. No. Um, it wasn't as good scary. As, as, as good as part of scary hours was, it could not save But as a standalone project? No. As a standalone? Oh, yeah, it's good. Uh, J. Cole, J. Cole had the best verse on the album or the deluxe album or whatever you want to call it. J. Cole's got the best verse. Mm. It's about time we've just said it. Aubrey don't know how to make albums. It's pathetic. He needs to grow up. No, he does. Man. Okay, sorry. He does. No, he doesn't. That's just no, not doesn't. true. No, he doesn't. He I wasn't going to... Yeah, that's just See, not true. I'm not going to go with that If far. you shoot two for 10, do, are you a good shooter? It's not two for 10 though, bro. <laughs> do you know how to shoot? Maybe, it's yeah, not, maybe it's not, a bad game. Not, if you shoot two for eight, are you a good shooter? It's not two for eight though. I think he's like, had, you're, you're, I think you're, he's had two. Yeah, but you're drawing it on a scale of like I classics. Think, no, not classics. I think he's had two good albums. That's a lie. That's an opinion. That's a lie. That's an opinion. You don't believe that. I think he's had Take Care, Nothing Was The Same. And what's the first one he had? Uh, best thing I never no no what's it you don't Frank believe Milano. that bro okay he had three Frank me later yeah, take care nothing was the same he don't believe well lie I think he's only got three he's podding he's podding I think he's got less to be Pete, yeah, I mean, is this new news that I've been saying this no 
He's got three. Let's not even make it a Drake combo. But if you're shooting three for 10, you're not a good shooter. You're a Giannis Antetokounmpo. He just dropped a 60 piece. Relax. He don't have to shoot. He just dropped a 60 Okay, piece. then I'll give you another one. Let me just think of a, it's a bad shoot. You're busy about Biombo. If you're shooting three for 10. Oh, he's, he's modern day clay. Are uh, you not? <laughs> he's modern day clay. Modern day clay. Modern day clay. Yeah. But yeah. They're both light skin. I just want to add him to the list as well. It was a poor album. No, it was a poor album. Here's the thing. For me, it wasn't disappointing because I had zero expectations. Why did you have zero expectations? Because he, for me, has not dropped a great body of work in a long last time. And he don't like Drake. So he don't know how to make albums. And, and the disastrous run of Certified Lover Boy to Nonis Nevermind to her loss to this. Honest, what's it called again? I don't know. Certified Lover Boy is not as bad as everyone said. That that's, good, that's, that's, the, that's, the that's the best one. That's a good album. That's the best one. What's the one? Good is, Certified Lover Boy. Good is, good is, good is, it was decent. Good, good is it was decent. Good is a lot. It was decent. It was good decent. It was a decent album. That's the best one of the run. That's the best of the run. But what does that say about how shit the run is? No, 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 no. But let's not exaggerate what the album was. It was a poor to decent album. Yemi, let's not make it seem like nothing. It's a poor to decent album. It doesn't pass that decent rating for me. Well, like, I think if it was just a standalone and he didn't drop any album after, we'd probably say it wasn't the best album. But because he's dropped so many after, we look at it now as the best of that bunch. That, let's not do that though. It's a Miyazaki of an album. Don't do that. What's the next thing? He had, he had, <laughs> one, he had one Wonder Kid season. Yeah, he did, didn't he? He's got an overhead against you lot. Streets will never forget. Why? <laughs> <laughs>